Right, question six. Uh, numerical methods, these are normally pretty straightforward. So we want to show there's a root in this interval. So I'm going to do f of 3.5, f of 4. And then put these into our calculator, being really careful with brackets. That's the only thing you can do wrong in these. So we've got learn of the thing plus something else. So it shouldn't all be in one set of brackets. So if I type that in, and hit equals um, for 3.5, it rounds up to minus, I should say rounds down, minus 4.8. And for 4, if I just go back, change all those values for 4s, I uh, get f of 4 is going to be rounding to 3.1. So uh, we then need to write. So you're going to say um, change of sign in interval and actually change of sign and function is continuous the interval therefore root therefore root between those two how do I know it's continuous? I know we always say it's continuous, and you can probably get away with it. Um, the way I check is the only part of this that's not going to allow something is obviously the learn part of it. So if we sketched this um, learn, so we've got normal log graph crosses at 1. We need to think about what's happening to this one. So we've got a horizontal stretch and a translation. Um, we're doing reverse bod mass, so we're going to move it first, so we're going to plus it 5, um, and then half it. So the undefined value at the moment is 0. If I move this 5, we're going to get 5 there, 6 there. We're then going to need to half it because of the... Um, scale factor stretch there. So that's going to become 2.5 and that's going to become 3. So it's undefined at 2.5. We're looking in the interval 3.5 to 4, so we're looking over here somewhere. So yeah, it's, it's, it's continuous in the interval we're looking at. And I know that's not the whole function. Obviously, um, I didn't draw. I drew, I drew learn. I didn't draw um, all the quadrat quadratic stuff at the end, but quadratics are always defined. It's just the log and it's asymptote that would ruin things, but we checked and it doesn't affect this question. So you can normally just put continuous, but that's how you would check. Or you could use graphical calculator. All right, um, next part. Student takes 4 as first approximation to alpha, so we're using Newton wraps then. Um, that's nice, they've done the derivative for us. That's that's really nice, actually. Um, cool. Anyway, so the newton raphson equation is um, xn root xn plus 1 equals x0 minus f of x0 over f dash of x0. So um, we're told that... Oh, well, I'll... I'll First x value, we want to try and find our second approximation. So x2, I guess we'd call it x1, which would be confusing, but whatever. Call it x1, because uh, in newton raphson we say it's 0. So the first approximation is x value is 4, minus the function of the x value 4, which is going to be 3.099, divided by f dash of 4, which is 16.67. So we uh, pull down to calculator, 4 take away 3.099 over 16.67. And we get 3, what is it, 1 2? We want it to 4, 6 figs, so that's 3.81 for there. 2, 4 significant figures. Cool. Uh, what's next? Um, show that this is the only route. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, there's a few ways you could do this. I that's that's hard. Um, if you've got a graphical calculator, just sketch it. If you don't, I guess you can still sketch it actually. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to find the root. This might not appear to you guys straight away, but you'll you'll get used to this kind of thing. We're trying to solve when does this equal minus two x squared plus thirty. Yeah, so I've said um, roots are when this equation equals zero. And then I've put this bit of the equation on the other side. And now I can sketch both of these parts and see how many times they intersect each other. So annoyingly, I had a sketch of that Venn graph um, just now. But it's all right, I put it back in. So I think we said it crossed at three. And the asymptote was at 2.5. Uh, then we're going to add in this uh, quadratic, so it's negative quadratic, so it's going to be unhappy. And it's going to cross at 30, and um, probably need the roots of it as well. So it's going to cross to about 30. It's going to look a bit like this. <coughs> you find the roots of it, so up here I'm just going to, you could all, all obviously just do this all on a calculator, but. So I'm going to solve uh, when does 2x squared equal 30. So x squared is 15. So x is plus or minus root 15. And the root of 15 is about 3.8. OK, so it's going to cross over here and down here. Cool, it's not a very good sketch. Um, <laughs> but you can see it only crosses once. So we're going to say. Um, only meets once, therefore, one root. So there's one mark for the sketch and one mark for the explanation. Okay, what's next? Oh, that's that, that's that one done. Cool. 